Greetings, my unique Sagittarians. Uh, my name is Soul, uh, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, I want to thank you and welcome you to my channel. Uh, this is a general reading for my unique Sagittarians for the week of uh, June 15th to the 21st. Um, What I would like to add is um, this is a pilot program that I've started just to see if it musters uh, up enough interest and um, seeing if it uh, resonates with people. Just an idea that I had and I threw it out there uh, point blank. So if you enjoy the reading and it resonates with you, it uh, is a general reading and it may or may not resonate with you, but it will resonate with someone. So please like, share, subscribe, comments, good or bad. Um, let me know if there's anything that I need to change or, you know, I'm open to suggestions. Basically, what I've done with previous uh, readings, um, uh, yes, I, and I hate to repeat myself, and even though I've said the same thing over and over again for about nine other signs, is that I've been having a lot of technical issues uh, with those recordings. So what I've done to make it easier on myself um, to save time is I've shuffled the, you know, three decks I'm using the Sun Tarot deck by Christopher Butler it's a gay theme tarot deck um, beautifully designed with some very impactful images uh, the, all the cards depict male images but the readings that I'm doing is for both males and females that are into same-sex relationships um, the cards he designed are very intense and very deep in content. Also, I am using another deck and giving you a color for the week to focus on with your reading. And I'm choosing that card from the secret language of color cards from the cards were designed by Ina Siegel. The third deck that I'm using is uh, Spirit Messages from the Spirit Message card deck uh, that was uh, created and designed by um, John Holland, a very well-respected psychic, uh, psychic medium. And off camera, I've shuffled the deck and chose your cards for the week of June 15th to the 21st. And as I've done with previous readings, I've always turned the deck over and always used the bottom card as the central theme or the focus for you for that week, for this, you know, the whatever week that I'm doing the reading for. So sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy this reading. And like I said before, as a general reading, it may or may not resonate with all of you. Um... And if so, let me know, you know, please like, share, you know, subscribe, comment. All comments are welcome. Um, so anyway, let's uh, get on with the reading for my unique Sagittarians. Okay, so the card at the bottom of the deck after the, I have shuffled, we have the Justice card. That's your theme for the week. So it's a... What I'm getting is that this week for you, justice will be served um, either legally or I think it just more or less has to do with uh, possibly a legal situation that you might be dealing with. Um, could be a court case, could be like a lawsuit, you know, anything, workman's comp, unemployment. This card here is telling me that you will win your case if 
that is the situation with you and that also uh, along with the theme is uh, for you to strike a balance strike a balance with yourself the scales are balanced in this card I'm just strongly picking up that it's something to do with and it may not even involve a court case. It may be just something that was done against you in slight by either a partner, family member, a friend, a co-worker. Justice will be served and in your favor this week. It's a major arcana card. It's the number 11. So I always pay close attention to the arcanas that come up for the readings because they pay. I'm sorry. They don't pay. They are major major situations major um, life events that take place for you so keep that in mind as you move forward during the week that for you justice will be served in some kind of fashion I like that that's good okay so the very first card that I have for you is the Ten of Wands in reverse. So that is already telling me that you've, uh, in your past, because it is in your past position, that you're overcoming some sort of oppression. And it could be in relationship to a relationship or some sort of legal matter, um, since we have the theme for you for, you know, the justice. Uh, we pulled the justice card for you for the theme of the week for you and it might involve that but since it's in the reverse it's giving me an indication that you're overcoming that or you have overcame whatever it was that you were dealing with in the past position I'm not sensing no, well, let me throw it in there because that's what they're giving me now. It, it could have been sort of, you know, a, a relationship. You felt trapped in a relationship and you felt oppressed, but that was in your past and you're overcoming that now. The card next to that is the Eight of Wands. So that, and tying it to the justice card that you have for the theme of the week um, may be pertaining to that you're waiting for some news that haven't that hasn't arrived yet or something that is important to you that you you've been waiting for and it just hasn't arrived so If it is something that you've been hoping that would come, because uh, usually the Eight of Wands and the Upright is some good news. This is not necessarily bad news because it's in the reverse. It's just the stagnation of that information coming to you. And if it's news that you're waiting for or something important that you're waiting for, I give it eight more days. <clears throat> excuse me and your future position you have the lovers in reverse and this doesn't necessarily mean a love relationship but although it could be and that you may or may not be having some sort of difficulty within a relationship or partnership um, if it is this card is indicating that there's something going wrong or amiss within that relationship uh, and I'm picking up <laughs> I'm picking up because <laughs> there's two people in the card but we have an angel that's above them so there's three so God knows I don't want to say there may be some sort of trilogy shit going on but I have to put it out there and uh, the reason why I say that is because it's in reverse 
And it could be, if it's not a relationship, it could be some sort of uh, business venture that you have with someone that's gone south. And this might um, tie into the Eight of Wands in reverse in which you are waiting or expecting to hear news about. However, the case and whatever it is that you may or may not be waiting for to hear in, with regards to news, whatever it is, I think it would be in your favor uh, because you have the justice card. for the theme of the week and that's a good card a very good card to have now if the justice card was in reverse then I would say the exact opposite of what I'm saying that uh, there would be delays and in information and more stagnation for you so yeah this is basically what I'm getting. I'm I'm getting that in your recent past you were oppressed about some situation affecting your life, and you're you're overcoming that. Um, the number ten always represents uh, closures and the start of something new. So since it's in the reverse position, if it was upright, then that means you're the oppression was still with you and it's lingering on, but it's uh, in the reverse. So that's letting me know that it's moving away from you or you dealt with it about some situation whether it was with a partner friend a co-worker job situation um, legal situation what have you whatever area in your life that was deeply impacted this is why this card came forth but it's in your past position, so you're moving away from that. The Eight of Wands is in reverse, and that's you're waiting for arrival of some important news to come. And if you're waiting for it to come this week, it will not come. It will come in about eight more days. Um, justice will be served. And whatever the, whatever it is, if it is a legal issue, it will be in your favor. Now, with the lovers in reverse, uh, this, like I said before, could pertain to a relationship or partnership. But there's a third wheel there, uh, because this card is in reverse and doesn't always mean that it 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 is a relationship. It could be a business relationship, but it is the lovers and it's also a major arcana and like I said before when these cards come up in a the reading they hold some sort of significance or life event that is occurring with you at this particular time um, I'm guided to say that it is Yes, it is it's it's a relationship and it's definitely a relationship. And there could be a third party involved. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, or if in tying in the oppression that you've recently suffered in connection with the lovers that may have something to have, you know, have been a part of the problem or the situation that you may have been dealing with. That's for a relationship. But I still say that the Eight of Wands is some sort of very important news that you've been waiting for that's been stalled and it's not arriving. It won't come until another eight days. Or 
or if this is a relationship, because I've been fed something else to say that if this is involving a relationship, then the partner or your significant other will not be in contact with you for eight days. Hmm, that's very interesting. Okay, so that's all I'm getting uh, for my unique Sagittarians uh, for the week of June 15th to the 21st. Uh, the color card that I've selected for you is Jade, which is a beautiful card. And on the bottom of that, it says, take action and how appropriate for this reading. Um, basically the, the, the color Jade is, um, a card of serenity and tranquility love and nurturing it um, has a lot to do with balance and, and harmony and it's so funny too because the justice card has the scales that signify the balance and the jade is also saying the same thing um, striking up a balance um, you know in harmony becoming more self-sufficient and to also release like you know negative energy or negative uh, people um, you know basically to clear your mind and to stay focused Jade is a card of Jade is a color card of uh, action. It really is asking you to take action, but only take action once you uh, find that balance and that tranquility within yourself um, and the harmony that's needed. basically just trying to release negativity from within and oh and the most important thing about the uh, color jade is it's a cleansing it's a cleansing color Okay, so the spirit message that I have from you, and you know what, this must be the third time that I have selected this card for two other signs, and now that you have it, I'm just feeling that, you know, my spirits are with me and guiding this, um, these readings as I have my spirit guide, Aaron, who's been helping me with these readings. And the message on the bottom of this card is your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they are with you at this time. Beautiful card. What I want to add to that spirit message card is that, you know, uh, and I said it in another video, if you've had someone who recently passed, and it doesn't necessarily have to be recent, but if it's someone that you lost in your recent past, um, and you have been thinking about them and, and whatnot, just know that they are there because, you know, your thought of them brings them right there and places them right next to you. So we never walk alone. We are always, even though we may not be able to physically see them, 
hear them, you know, touch them and smell them or whatever, but they are there watching us. And supporting us the best that they can with their love, light, and energy. Um, helping you uh, with any matters that you may be dealing with uh, during your daily lives. This could be family members. This could be, you know, um, you know, partners that have moved on into the spirit world. They're there. If you think of them, then that's when they appear. And also, uh, I'm, I'm adding to that message is uh, to possibly find some time to, you know, meditate, to work on the um, the other areas uh, the, that the jade color card is suggesting to help cleanse your body. Okay, I think that is going to wrap it up for my unique Sagittarius. Um, I hope that this reading resonates with some of you. If so, let me know. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with all of you, but uh, some of you it may resonate with. And I appreciate you taking the time to viewing my channel and seeing what I'm all about. I look forward to doing more of these. Um, since this was my first time doing these, it, it was very tough in trying to coordinate and get everything together. Um, and then coupled with technical issues uh, back to back, it was just um, too unreal. So. I thought that maybe with all of that stuff happening that it wasn't a good idea to try this, but I think uh, I'm going to push forward anyway. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, um, so I hope my unique Sagittarians have a, a good week. Stay positive, And um, I will see you the next time. Love and light. Bye. <laughs>